with Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Play with Dave, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. We're getting the hell out of here. And here's the world map. Gosh, it looks so bright now. Like, just much more colorful. They added, like, an animation to the water. It just kind of looks like a sky, really, but, I mean, it's better than it just being flat like it used to be. Everything moves much smoother. Oh, wow. This is fucking awesome. Oh, look at this! I mean, it looked good for, like, Super Nintendo graphics. Like, it was just kind of, like, a nice, like, pre-rendered 3D background, kind of. But this is, like, actually, like, drawn to look exactly like that. Oh, man, that looks cool. I like that a lot. I like the new battle backgrounds. They look really, really sharp. I love the overworld map, too. Now, when you would walk through the forest, it would kind of, like, put your your sprite kind of, like, chest up like it looks like you're walking through bushes. I don't know. I kind of miss that. That way you can tell that you're, you know, when you're in the forest and when you're not. That kind of sucks, but... Oh, well. We're just going to keep on going. Now, that, that's always been the same, the kind of heat wave effect. It's just, you know, rendered better and smoother and at a better frame rate than, I don't know, the 10 to 20 that the Super Nintendo was. I don't know. <laughs> uh, these are nothing. We're just fighting our way. Just trying to get through. I mean, I don't want to run through it from any battles because, uh, you know, you gain experience. You need experience. If, you know, wandering around on the world map, going to your destinations, you're going to come across some battles. You might as well fight them, so hopefully you don't have to do as much grinding later. Because I'm definitely going to be doing some grinding, there's no doubt about that. I'm going to have to be doing some uh, grinding uh, at some point during this playthrough. Now that looks a lot better. I get, yeah, I mean, it's, it's realistic, like, that's those, you can see exactly where you can go in this castle. So I guess it's like a more realistic representation. I don't know. It, it looks good. I like that. This looks the same, kind of. Just, you know, of course, updated. HALT! Oh, it's you! Proceed! Now, how am I gonna... How am I gonna do this one? This is gonna be an interesting character for me to voice. I've always kind of... Hmm. I don't know. I'll just have to feel it out. Here he is. He looks really fucking cool. He doesn't look green, he looks blue now. Like, in the... In the... Super Nintendo version, he, he looks kind of greenish. You mean this young woman is? The purple cape? Nice! Like, completely different, like, color palette for this guy. I'm not gonna say his name yet. <laughs> oh! My apologies! How rude of me to turn my back to a lady on our very first meeting. It's funny that they, like, they really made sure it looks like he's using his pointer finger because the old sprite, it looks like he's flipping you off. <laughs> I always thought. I'll try to, I'll put a picture up of him just so you can see. I mean, it really does look like he's giving you the bird. It's, it's hilarious. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally and champion of the technological revolution. King Edgar! He's got some... Every, these guys have got some bushy eyebrows, that's for sure. I am Edgar, the King of Figaro. Heh! <laughs> Surprised that someone like me knows a king? <laughs> well, I'll catch you two later! So, you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry. Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here for as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. I can't do the voice. I kind of imagine him having, like, All Might's voice. But I can't do a good All Might, so... Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my abilities? <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Or, actually, I uh, I could also see him having uh, uh, Iskandar, uh, Ryder from uh, Fate Zero. You know, I could also have see him having that voice. 
<laughs> I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would be, uh, would rank a distant third. I just kind of was going on. I wasn't even reading. <laughs> what's the matter? I think originally she says, what's with you or something like that. <laughs> Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Hmm, I suppose a normal girl would have felt something from those words. But not me. Yeah, poor Tara. So I guess we just, uh, well, we could do, uh, we could do a couple things. Get this in a gold needle. What's that? Hang on. Items. Gold needle. Here's petrification. That's different. I thought it was just called a soft. Okay. Well, I'm glad I looked at that. Uh, let's see. I accidentally hit the uh, the help button again there. Okay, so he just sells items. The other guy is who I need to talk to. Because Edgar, you know, as you can tell, every every character that's going to be a party member gets like a an, an, an introduction. You know, they get the black screen and then you name them. I mean, if you name somebody, obviously you're going to use them. So, you know, it's one of those things. Uh, I actually have one of these, I don't have one of those, and I don't have one of those. And I have plenty of money to get both of them. Perfect. I don't know how I got so much gold, like, right off the bat. That's incredible. So that's really the only thing I need to buy. I guess I could buy some items, but I've got Terra, and she knows Cure, so that's, that's good. Um, I think my room is this way. That's where I need to go next in order to progress the story. Am I going the right way? Did I go the right way? Am I on the... Seems like that was always on the other side, but... Oh well. Yeah, this is it. Or no, this is the... Is this the king's room? Yeah, this is the king's room. I'm in the wrong room. I'm a dumbass. I should have went to the left. To the left. I love how they didn't really do too much to change the music. It's still like the exact same, just maybe like cleaned up a little bit, you know, like cleaner quality. But like the instruments, the original recording, it's it's all it's completely the same. I love that because this music is just so good. Oh no, wait, that was my room, but I had to come in here to learn about Edgar. That's right. Edgar has a twin brother, you know. He was such a nice boy, always thinking of his family. Ah, uh, this music. Now, how should he talk? Edgar! No. <laughs> What's wrong with Dad? Why is everyone talking about a successor? Are you blind? Haven't you seen how th thin his face has become? What do you mean? Edgar! This guy's one of my favorites out of everybody. Are you crying? He's just really fucking cool. Edgar's twin brother who traded the throne for his own freedom. So they're Sabin or Sabin. I always called him Sabin. I think it's Sabin. It's just, you know. Two guys that went down completely different paths. The story of Edgar and Sabin's a good one. Ah yes, Sabin. I'm sure he's a fine young man by now. He was just a boy when he left, even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now, and what he's doing. Now we go back to the other side. And I wish I could fucking run and make this faster, but I can't. I have not the relic to do it because they really, like, took from the original with this, and it's like, no, you got to have a relic to run fast. Okay, if you say so. Actually, I need to go back in here real quick. 
Rest, yes. Because I need to heal. I don't think going to my room will heal everybody. I think that I actually had to do that in order to heal up. At least for Terra, because she needs all the help she can get. No, not down there. This way. And then this way. But yeah, this is... This is awesome, man. It's so nice, like, playing the game like this. Like, you know. When I think of, like, a remaster of an old game, this is what I think of. I understand that people want, like, movies in their video games. Not necessarily, I mean, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Why the fuck? Where's Locke? I'm supposed to run into Locke. And he's supposed to be like, oh, come with me. Fuck. I just realized that. <clears throat> I'm just like, taking it upon myself to go where I'm supposed to go, but I'm not doing what the game wants me to. I gotta find- oh, I gotta go- he's in here. I gotta go back- since I learned about Edgar, yeah, that's right. It's been a while, guys, I'm sorry. I forgot what order I gotta do this shit in. Here we go. Hi, Edgar, you're back. Well, how do you like my castle? Edgar! Someone's from the- Someone from the Empire here to see you! There's someone from the Empire here to see- Why am I so fucking dyslexic today? Kefka, no doubt! Now you can see him in color instead of like that weird, like black and white kind of. Phooey! <laughs> Emperor guessed all stupid orders! Edgar, you pinhead! Why do you have to live out in the middle of a stinking desert? These recon jobs are the pits. Ahem! <laughs> There's sand on my boots! <laughs> All gone, sir! There it is! The sound effect and the laugh. How pathetic! Sir Kefka, what in the world brings you out of my way? You don't fuck with Kefka. I mean, he just seems like just a, a goofy son of a bitch, but there's a lot more to him than just his painted face and loud outfit. It's like, you think he's just like a jester to fucking the Emperor, like a glorified jester. Those guys say nothing, that's why I didn't really go through that, because I wanted to talk to Kefka, not these two assholes, but they make you go through that spiel. What brings Emperor Gestal's own court mage, Kefka, to my humble castle? So he's a court mage, is what they call him, but yeah. He's, uh, I don't know, he's like, held pretty highly regard for such a low rank, you know? It's kind of weird. A girl of no importance recently escaped from us! We heard she found refuge here! This wouldn't have to do with that witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole something of minor value! Is she here? That's a tough one. There are more girls in here than grains of sand in that desert. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. Oh, Edgar. You know you only stand to lose by trying to hide her from us. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. That sounds kind of looming and dark. <laughs> I didn't like the sound of that. Where's Terra? Take her to her room. I'd love to stay and chat, but the Chancellor and I need to do some planning now. Being a king's not all tea and crumpets, if you'll excuse me. Follow me! This way! <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick save, and uh, we'll pick it back up in the next episode. So, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I'll be back later with another video. I hope to see you there. My name is Dave, and I am the One Man Rave. See ya!